Hey guys, welcome back to another decluttering video. Today I'm going to be doing my foundations. I asked you guys in my last decluttering video, which I did my bronzers and my blushes, if you guys wanted to see my highlighters or my foundation first, and I had so many comments about foundations, so I'm going to do my foundations today. So I have this drawer to go through, and then I also have this one right here. If you know me or you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm a foundation junkie. I love trying out new foundations i love just foundations in general trying different ones and just buying foundations i just have something with foundations that i'm just in love with so i'm gonna go through these before we start the video i just want to give a quick disclaimer all the stuff that i will be getting rid of i will be giving away to someone so just letting you guys know when i say i'm getting rid of something i'm not throwing it out i'm just giving away giving it away to someone else so Let's dive in because I have a lot to go through today. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. This shade is in medium tan sand. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I am obsessed with this foundation. And this one's actually empty, so this one's actually going in the garbage. But I have so many of these because... One, I repurchased it like four times and then the last time that I went to repurchase it, I was like, you know what, I never want to run out of it again. So I bought like three backups and then the following week, Tarte sent me a package with a ton of their new shades. So I might have like just random shades in here, but I do love this foundation. It has a beautiful coverage. I did a full video on this if you haven't seen it or if you want more information on this foundation, I will link it in the description box below. But I love this foundation. I'm just getting rid of this bottle because it's actually completely empty. This one is medium sand, but you know what? This one has a little bit, so I'll keep this one. I also have these Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation sticks. I love this so much. It's so funny because a lot of people with dry skin absolutely love this foundation and they say it's like their holy grail, but I have oily skin and I seem to really love how it looks on my skin. It does have more of like a dewy natural finish, but I really like it for like an everyday wear or if I'm doing like a really full coverage look, I'll mix it in with another foundation. So I have quite a few shades of this foundation and I'm going to keep all of them because like I said, I love this. I use it to highlight, to contour, for foundation. So I'm going to keep all of these shades right here. I have this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer, which I'm pretty sure is also done. Look at that. I'm pretty sure it's also done. I haven't opened this in like, I want to say a few weeks because, like I said, it's done. So I just put it aside hoping to repurchase it, but I never just got around to repurchasing it. But I really do love this foundation. It looks so amazing on camera, on pictures, on selfies. This is one of my favorite foundations when I know I'm going out and I'm taking a lot of pictures. I'll go for this one and the coverage is insane, let me tell you. It has really great coverage. Okay, I have Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus, another foundation that I have a ton of bottles because I've repurchased so many different shades, just like my natural shade, my tan shade, my faded shade, just my shade just, you know, looks different throughout the year, especially since I self tan. But I have the shades 51, 40, 40, 53. 40 is the lightest one, so I believe this is my natural shade. 53 is the darkest and then 51 is like in between. So I'm pretty sure 40 is completely full because I haven't been my natural shade because I've been self tanning. 51, there's a little bit in there. 53 is completely empty, so I'm just going to get rid of 53. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation, and I repurchased this three times looking for my perfect shade, and I still can find it, so I ended up getting golden. That was the last shade that I purchased. And um, I, I just don't like this foundation. I don't like the coverage. I felt like when I put it on my face, I tried to make it work when I used it, but it just kept separating. It didn't last a really long time on my skin. And overall, I just didn't like how it looked on my face, but I love stick foundations. This one was just not my favorite, so I'm also getting rid of this. I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I do really like this. I did a full video on it as well. And um, for $5, this foundation is incredible. 
If you haven't tried it out, I highly recommend it because not only does it photograph really amazing, but it has really great coverage. I have a few shades because Wet n Wild actually sent me the entire collection. And I'm going to keep both of them because I like that foundation. I have the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Pro Matte Foundation. I have to throw this out because it's completely empty. I don't know why it's in here, but this is my favorite drugstore foundation ever. If I had to just pick one foundation for the rest of my life, it will probably be this foundation because it's incredible. It looks so amazing in pictures and the coverage is just insane. This foundation never fails me, but this one's completely empty, so I'm just gonna have to get rid of that. I have a few more around here. This is 104. The one that I just threw in the bag is 106. Okay, this is a new one. This is a Dior Forever Skin Perfect Makeup Everlasting Wear Pore Refining Effect with a Sunscreen Foundation. Wow, that was really long. But I've been using this for about three weeks non-stop I love it the coverage it's just amazing it looks beautiful on the skin um, the color is a perfect match and it's so hard to, for me to find an actual foundation that's like a perfect match and this one it's 021 and it's like my perfect natural shade I love it this one has a like a very subtle like you know Dior fancy scent but nothing intense I nothing I can't deal with but I really do love this foundation so I am definitely keeping this. Okay, I have my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. I actually just bought this, I want to say a month, two months ago, and I love this foundation, so I'm keeping it. I also have my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I love this so freaking much. Actually, Makeup Forever sent me a PR package with a ton of new shades. I like to mix this foundation because this foundation not only does it look amazing on my skin, but you can build it up to full coverage, okay? So this foundation is amazing. I'm gonna keep it. I, I cannot tell you what my shade is in this foundation because every time I use it, I mix it in to get my perfect shade. And that's what I love about this foundation is if you have yellow undertones, you can get away with mixing this foundation to get your perfect shade, which is hard. You know, if you have yellow undertones, it is just very difficult for you to find a foundation that's your perfect match. This foundation I actually used today. And funny story, I used to be allergic to this foundation. Like, it was crazy. I, I loved it so much, but every time I used it, it made me break out so bad. I used it today and I didn't have any issues at all. I actually just took it out the box. This is NC30, it's the Studio Fix Fluid by MAC. I love how it looks. This foundation was one of my favorites and one of the first expensive foundations that I ever purchased when I got into makeup. And I'm gonna keep it because I love this foundation. I also have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I have it in three different shades. Here I have light neutral and then medium neutral. I wanna test out this foundation, so I'm gonna keep these two shades because I might have to mix it to get my perfect shade. This is a Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear. I need some coffee. I have my little coffee here because I'm gonna be talking a lot. Mm. So good. By the way, how cute is this little mug? It's from Ikea if you're wondering, but it's just so cute. Okay, anyways, I have my Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Okay. When I first bought this foundation, I was so obsessed with it. Actually, it wasn't even that long ago. And I used it every single day. Let me tell you, this foundation looks so great on the skin. It lasts a really long time throughout the day. If you have oily skin, use a mattifying primer. But besides that, I love it. It's one of my favorite foundations. And this one is almost empty. I still have a little bit so I can use that up. But I have quite a few shades because... I purchased some on my own and then Smashbox actually sent me a few shades. So I am going to be keeping these two because this is my natural shade. This is 2.3 and then this is my tan shade, which is 3.15. 3.15 has more yellow and a little bit of olive in it. And then this one has a little bit of yellow, but it's more like on the neutral side. Um, so this is my natural shade, like I said. So I'm gonna keep these two. But yeah, I really love that foundation. Okay, here I have the Clinique Super Balance Silk Makeup Foundation. I really like this. I just don't use it because I have other favorites. But this is a really great foundation. 
I love the coverage. I love how it looks on my skin. It just, it looks like your skin but better. I am going to be keeping this because I really like how it looks on my skin and this is a foundation that I can use on a no makeup makeup day. I have another stick foundation. This one is by Lancome. I really love this foundation. It has a really nice soft matte finish. As you can tell, I used half of it. Well, now you can see it. <laughs> I used up half of this foundation because when I first got it, I was literally so obsessed with it, so I will use it all the time. I'll mix it in with other foundations. I really love mixing in foundations just not only to get my perfect shade, but to get really great coverage. I like this one because, like I said, it has a really nice soft matte finish. I am going to keep this because I really like how it looks on my skin. And I used up half of it, so I'm pretty sure I'm I'll be done with it in a few months. I have another Makeup Forever Stick Foundation, which I will be keeping. I have most of them in 123, if you're wondering. That's like my perfect shade. Um, 123 Y365. This is a perfect match for me when I'm not self tan. So I will be keeping that. Okay, I have another one which is really fun. This is the Hourglass Foundation in Beige. And I love this foundation. Oh my god. It looks so great on the skin. I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with stick foundations just because I feel like they're easier to work with and they have really great coverage. This one has more of like a natural soft matte finish. I'm pretty sure I have a few shades in there because I purchased some of my own and then Hourglass sent me some. So I have the shade Beige and Warm Ivory right here. So I will be keeping these two. Okay, I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. I love this foundation. The coverage is insane let me tell you like one small tiny pump will cover your entire face i will be keeping this because this foundation has saved me especially when i've had those days where i had really bad breakouts and i just couldn't find a foundation that would stay on my face that will cover my acne and um this one has just helped me a lot so i will be keeping this one i do have it in several shades i honestly don't remember what shade i was using but I have four, I have six, I have quite a few shades here, but I will be keeping these two. Okay, I have some primers here, which I don't know what they're doing here, so we're just going to move them to my primer drawer. This is also another primer oil. Okay, I have another Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation, and this one is in the shade 2.3. I'm pretty sure this is a backup, so I will be keeping that one. I also have my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup and I already used up half of it as you can tell. I love this foundation. Oh my god, it just looks so flawless on the skin. Right now I'm using the shade 3W1 Tawny but it just looks so great on the skin. It has so, sort of like a matte finish and um, it lasts a really long time on the skin. I love this foundation. I'm going to be keeping it because I use that foundation a lot. Okay, I have another Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige. I will be keeping this just because I like having different shades of the foundations that I like. I have a foundation top. I have a highlighter, which should go on the highlighter drawer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in Golden. I love this foundation. I just wish I wasn't sensitive to it. If not, I would totally use it because it looks so beautiful on the skin. I have really sensitive skin and every time I use this foundation, I have a really bad breakout. I'm actually going to keep this foundation because I like to have it around, especially if I'm doing someone's makeup. I don't do freelancing makeup, but you know, to friends or family, if I have to do their makeup, this foundation is really great and photographs beautiful. So I'm going to actually keep this one. I have the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation, which I do love. I have it in a few shades because I like to use it as highlight, contour, and as a foundation. So I like having options to use, but this foundation has a beautiful natural finish. It's such a great everyday foundation. And I wasn't crazy about cushion foundations until I tried this one. But like I said, I do have a video on this, I believe, so I will link it in the description box below. It's so easy to use. You can literally just dip your beauty blender and then apply it on the skin. And let me tell you, the coverage is insane. Like, it has really great coverage. So I will be keeping this in my collection. Okay, I have an Ami Healthy Glow Makeup 
gradual self tan and the reason I bought this was because when I self tan I don't self tan my face so I was hoping this would you know self tan my face as I use it but I never got around to using it and I don't think I'm gonna use it because whenever I self tan the reason I buy darker foundations is so I can use them when I self tan so I'm not gonna use this I will be um, including that in get the products I'm getting rid of this is the Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. This is a foundation by Clinique. This shade is just way too dark for me, so I'm gonna have to get rid of it. Even if my tan shade will match that foundation. Okay, I have another Makeup Forever Ultra HD, which I will be keeping because you know I like to mix those. I have my RCMA powder, which I Personally do not like because I just feel like it's not effective on my skin This is the Graftobian cosmetics foundation palette. I mean this shade right here. I was using as foundation and I mean I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. So You get the point. I will be keeping it because I do want to use it to highlight and contour Okay, I have just some brow products in there that I will be keeping Alright, whoa. Alright, so the foundations that I already mentioned, I'm just gonna include in my bag. This is actually a primer, which shouldn't be here, so let's just move that over there. I have the Hourglass Immaculate Foundation. Um, I couldn't find my shade in this foundation, but um, I never got around to using it, to be honest. So, I'm just gonna get rid of this one because it's not my shade. And the shades that I have do not match me. Hopefully I'll get around to buying my shade and trying that foundation out. I have one, two, three, three more Ultra HD stick foundations by Makeup Forever. Keeping these because I love it. Okay, I have the Maybelline Dream BB Fresh uh, BB Cream. I have the oil skin version and then I have the regular version. I haven't gotten around to trying this, but I will be keeping it because I do want to try it out. So I'm including this in my bag that I'm keeping. I have more Too Faced foundations, which I said I like to keep to use on other people. I also have the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint Foundation with SPF 30. I really like this. It has beautiful coverage and it looks really great on the skin. I honestly don't use it as much as I wish I did, so I'm not going to keep it because I don't see myself using it whenever I want more of like a lighter foundation. I will lean towards something else, so I'm just actually going to get rid of this. I also have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Hybrid Complexion Perfector. I really love this. I just kind of forgot about it because it's in this drawer and I honestly don't open the bottom one as much because here I like to have backups. But I will be keeping this because I like it on a no makeup makeup day. I actually have it in a few shades because, uh, yeah, tan, non-tan shade. As you can tell, I haven't touched this thing in like forever and I won't be touching it. So I also have more of the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I told you guys how much I love this, so I will be keeping this. This is the Kojin Do High Definition Makeup Foundation, and as you can tell, um, I pretty much used up this foundation completely. I was just holding on to it because I really love the packaging and I spent so much money on this foundation, so I just wanted to keep it, but it's time to say goodbye and trash it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, but I really love that foundation, and will I repurchase it anytime soon? Probably not because I have other high-end foundations that I'm really loving right now like the Dior or um, the Hourglass Vanish foundation so I don't see myself repurchasing it anytime soon but it is a beautiful foundation. I have this uh, Becca Aqua Luminous foundation which I really liked last year but I haven't touched it since then. So I will be getting rid of it because I don't see myself using it. I have a backup for my Dior Skin Forever foundation in my tan shade. So when I went to purchase this foundation, I bought it in two shades. I bought my natural shade and then I bought a darker shade to use when I self tan. So I will be keeping this one. I have another Immaculate Foundation by Hourglass. Also getting rid of this. 
I have another Born This Way foundation. I will be keeping that. This is a Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation in the shade 18 Sand. This shade just does not match me at all when I'm tan, when I'm regular, so I just actually just have to get rid of it. I have another Studio Skin foundation by Smashbox. This one I used a lot. This is 2.4. This one is in between the tan and the natural shade, so I did use this one pretty well. I will be keeping it though because I do like that foundation. I have Light Medium Sand, which is the Tarte Liquid uh, Foundation. We'll be keeping this. I like to mix that with a darker foundation. I have the Makeup Forever Water Blend Foundation. I do not like this because I just don't feel like it looks great on my skin, so I'm actually going to get rid of it. I have two more Hourglass Stick Foundations. This one is in the shade Golden and then Golden Amber. We'll be keeping this. What else we have back here? Just a few more. Okay, I have another Becca foundation, which I'm getting rid of. I don't want that. I have medium light in this Urban Decay Naked Skin foundation. More Too Faced, which I will be keeping. This is basically like the dewy version of the Pro Matte. And I've used this several times and actually works really great on my skin. I don't see myself using it a lot because I do have other foundations that I use more. Um, so I will be getting rid of that as well. But surprisingly, it works really great with my oily skin. I have another Urban Decay in Medium Light. We'll be keeping this because I really like it. And that's it. Oh my god, I can't believe we just went through all that foundation. That's like, that was like 40 minutes long. Okay, I did actually very bad in today's video because I kept so many foundations. And most of it was because um, I have a lot of shades in the foundations that I really like. And that's because you guys know that I like to mix foundations. But anyways, that is pretty much my decluttering video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I think I might do my highlighters next Sunday. Let me just open this to show you guys. Okay. So these are my highlighters. This is the first drawer of highlighters. And then I also have some down here. And then I also have some over here. So that's everything that I have to go through. Let me know if you guys want to see more of that in um, the next video next Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs>